everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video. I've been getting comments every single day about this, and this is my iPod 5. You guys have been wanting to see a what's on my iPod 5 touch. I said that so weird. I'm also going to be showing you my cases, um, because I just thought that would be fun to add in, and I thought you guys would want to see, because I've been getting requests for both iPod case collection and what's on my iPod. So I thought I could just mix them together and it was just like the best of both worlds. Let's just get into what is on my iPod and I really hope you guys enjoy this and sorry like I look really bad in this intro. I was just like, filming the whole thing it's really humid out here. And I just got back from an intense karate class. So but anyways, let's just get right into what is on my iPod. Okay, so I have a iPod 5 and it just looks like this. I just have the pink one and I'm pretty sure it's 32 gigabytes. This is what my case looks like. I really like it. I'll do a case collection at the end of this. Um, I wasn't going to do a separate one, but right now I'm just going to show you the ones I have. Um, but I got this one on eBay and I'll try to have a link to it down below. But let's just get into what's on my iPod. This is what my background looks like at the moment. It's just uh, like 4th of July-ish because it's coming up soon and I thought that was festive. And I used an app to make this little monogram um, and I'll show you guys that when I get to it. But yeah, so I don't have a password because that's just too much time for me and I don't care if people get into my iPod I guess. So yeah, let's get into the apps. Starting off at the top, I just have settings, photos, the camera, FaceTime, I love FaceTime, like it's my life. Um, clock, which I use for alarms. Um, you guys know what that is. I don't know what I'm telling you, but yeah. And I like that you can like set it to like music as the alarm. I don't know, I think that's cool. Sorry. Then I have contacts, notes, which I actually do use notes a lot for videos and stuff like that. Um, music, iTunes, App Store, um, the weather, which is very convenient. And then I just have the Bible. This is like... I don't know what Bible this is. I guess I'll show it to you though. Okay, that took forever to load, so <laughs> I'm just gonna skip it. And I have voice memos, and I actually use this to do my voiceovers for my videos, so if you wanna know what I use, it's like my recorder, it's just this, and then I just email it to myself from my iPod, and then I just download it onto my computer and put that into my editing software. Next, I have the calculator, which I use when I'm shopping a lot because I like to figure out how much things are with tax, and then if there's discounts, like how much off I'll get. So I'm a nerd like that, and I definitely use the calculator. Um, I have calendar. I don't use that. Maps, but yeah. I also didn't mention, but I like to keep everything compacted onto one page. So as you can see, I don't have another page. Right now, I'm just going to show you my background. It just looks like this. It's exactly like what I have on my home screen, but it just doesn't have the monogram. So yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, I like to keep everything on one page just so it's like compact, and I just like it like that. So now I'm going to get into the folders, which are just all on the bottom row. Okay, so the first one is called Random, and in here I just have the apps that I don't really use. Um, so I have Game Center, Newsstand, Passbook, Stocks, Videos, Reminders, Find iPhone, which is necessary if you ever lose your phone or your iPod. Um, that just helps you find your phone. Next, I have the Followers app, and I use this. It's kind of depressing since I'm like a YouTuber. I get a lot of like unfollowers a day, but I just like to see if like people that I know unfollow me, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people are like interested in that, but yeah, I figured out people blocked me on this, so that's kind of cool. Um, next, I have the battery because, as you can see, the iPod doesn't tell you how much you have remaining, and sometimes I just like to know, so I go to this um, to tell me how much percentage I have left. Sliding on to the next page, I have an app called Sleep Pillow, and this just gives you sounds that help you fall asleep. Just do different sounds. You can see that's like an ocean. You can get the mix. Fire crackling, ocean side. That was like rain. Um, I like this app, and when I can't go to sleep, I like to use this because I really like the sound of rain. So it's still playing. How awkward is that? <laughs> okay, next I have an app called Speech Jammer, and this is just a really cool thing that I like to do with my friends. Um, you put in headphones, and it just delays your voice, um, so it makes it really hard to talk, and it's really funny, and it makes you sound like you have a speech impediment. This one I just labeled like with like the tongue out and the peace sign face. The first thing that I have in here is The Hunt. It's an app that a lot of YouTubers have been talking about, but pretty much you just post pictures of outfits on like that you find on Tumblr or Instagram and you don't know where things are from. And then people all around the world will help you to find the outfits. So I posted this one. I thought it was really, really cute. And then people gave me examples of where to get different things. And they give you like affordable prices and 
stuff like that. So I really like it and it's helpful if you just need a good outfit. Next thing I have is Netflix. Everyone knows that. Then I have IMDB, which stands for Internet Movie Database. And this is my lifesaver when I'm watching a movie or TV show because I just like to see where people are from. And I'm like, where is that person from? What other movies have they been in? And I just go to this app and... I can find information about all these celebrities, different movies they've been in, and it's just so helpful, so I love it. The next thing is Period Tracker. That is self-explanatory. Um, then I have Onello, which I never really use, but I want to kind of get into it, but it's pretty much like just Pinterest, but more like teenager-ish. Um, and then I have Social Blade, and this is not an app. I just don't know how I did it. I went to the website, and then I like did add to homepage, and so it became an app. But what this does is just tells me all these different statistics about my YouTube, how many subscribers I got that day, views, and just like, it's just like analytics about your channel, so I really like going to this. And I also creep up on other YouTubers, like let's be honest here. <laughs> then I have the app called Shots, and this is just like a selfie app. Um, I don't know what my username is, but I'll link it in the description so that you guys can follow me if you want. Um, then I have Starbucks, and I don't really use this either, but it pretty much lets you, like, put money on it, and then you can order Starbucks with the app and, like, scan it, and you can get, like, points and get, like, car gold cards or whatever. I'm not really sure. I have this app called iTube. It's like YouTube, but it lets you download the songs, and you can just create, like, um, playlists. So, so I have, like, music, the shade tards, because I'm obsessed, and then, like, WD vids. So, yeah, it just lets me do that and then really cool about iTube is unlike YouTube once you get out of the app it doesn't let you listen to the music it just like shuts it off but this it allows you to listen to the song with whatever app you're on so I really like it and I'm loving that app then I have a pump up app which is just like a workout I don't really use it um I mainly just use YouTube videos to work out then I have the app called time hop which tells you exactly what you're doing on like your Facebook and Instagram posts from like two years ago so let's see what I was doing two years ago today so let's see there's nothing I didn't post anything so yeah as you can see like one year ago two years ago three years ago today I did not post anything on my social media so I can't show you guys but that's what it does and it's really like funny and scary to look back on <laughs> then I have the app called Shazam and this is really cool if you're in the car and you don't know the song on the radio and you can just press the button and Shazam it and it'll tell you the song but that is it for this folder. This folder I have games, and the first one I have is Family Feud and Friends. And I play with my grandma. I really like Family Feud. I know I'm such an old lady. Like, I love the show. Um, I really like the game. And I have Draw Free, which I never use. Um, it was just like I had it before, and I like updated it, so it just went back on my iPod. But yeah. Then I have Fruit Ninja. Then I have Temple Run. Angry Birds, The Line. I'm obsessed with The Line. I'll show you guys what it is. I don't really use any of the games except Family Feud and The Line. Um, I mainly just have them for little boys at my church that like to play games. But yeah, this is how you play this. So you just, okay, I'm looking through my screen so it's really hard and you just move. Okay, my high score is like 700 and I'm really proud of myself because it's the highest in my family and I usually have the lowest score. So, like, look at me now. It's really hard but it's so addictive and really fun. Of dumb Ways to Die and Minion Rush. I'm not going to go through the games because, I don't know, I'm sure everyone has heard of these. Okay, my last folder is called Editing and it has the little camera emoji. I'm going to do a how I edit my Instagram pictures if you guys would like that. Make sure to comment down below. Um, I have a lot of editing apps and I really have been loving editing my pictures more. The camera on this new iPod is like so much better than my old one, which I had the iPod 4 and I'm like, yes. So now I'm really into editing. But I'm just going to like tell you the apps that I have but not really show you. Um, but I will definitely be doing a how I edit my Instagram pictures shortly. The first one that I have is Square Ready, and this just allows you to have the white border on your pictures on Instagram. And if you have like a rectangular picture, this makes it into a square. Um, and then I have Afterlight, which is just an editing. It gives you with tons of different effects and the little, you know how you can do like the lights kind of bokeh? That's what this allows you to do. Then I have VSCO Cam, which I love so much. It gives you different filters and yeah. Then I have Perfect 365, which I hardly ever use because it looks fake a lot of the times, but it just allows you to put like, like, even out your complexion, put on extra mascara, um, put eyeshadow, give you lip color, stuff like that. I have Photoshop Express. This is pretty much Adobe Photoshop, um, but it just gives you really cool filters. The one thing that I don't like about it is it doesn't allow you to adjust the effect of the filter. It's just like you either have to have it this dark or not at all. So that kind of sucks, but it does have pretty filters. Then I have Reflection. 
Reflection just allows you to do pictures like this, as you can see. And this is my Instagram, The Beauty Group For You, but I use the Reflection app to get a picture like this. And Pick Frame just allows you to make collages. I'm sure everyone's have heard of this. I have Twin Collage, which is just like, I don't know why I have two of these, but they're like the same thing. Um, and then I have Monogram It, which I use to make my background, and I love this app free one but I bought the one for a little bit more money I think it gives you more designs but these are all the ones that I've made um, I just love this because I love like personalizing and I'm obsessed with monograms so yeah these are all the ones I made and I'll show you how to do it so you just hit add and then you can choose different designs so there's tons and then you can do different colors it's so so awesome and then you can choose like whatever and change the color and there's so many different things I'm obsessed. And then you can choose how to do your monogram, the sh like style of it, and the font, and then save it. So I'm obsessed with this app, and it's literally my life. Insta Shapes, um, and then I also have Fonto, which I think you can put text on it. I've never used it, like to be honest. Um, but then there's Pixelomatic, which allows you to put on more effects. Framematic, never use. I just got it because I've been watching a lot of how do I edit my Instagram pictures, and I think it just gives you like fancy frames. Then I have Voto, and what this is, is I'll go to it. So what you do is you, like, record yourself. So, hello, mm, mm, yeah, here I am, chilling outside. And then you just record it, stop it. Then you hit the next button. And when you stop it, it gives you tons of different pictures. So if you're with your friends, you can just take a video, and you'll get a lot of really good candid shots. So that's what I really like about it, and it's really fun if you're with your friends. And you can get tons of different pictures and just save the best ones. So that's what this app does. I have a photo studio, and let me go to this to see what it does. I mainly use just the ones on the front page, so that's why I'm kind of clueless. Oh, this allows you to have the 3D effect on pictures. So I'll take a picture. Let's see. Um... I did it on this picture, so I take it and then I hit choose, and I do add effect, and then there's tons, but the only one that I use on this is the 3D effect, and it makes it just look like that, and you can do it a lot, or you can do it a little bit. That is a 3D effect that a lot of people use on their camera, and they put in like the description trippy, which is really annoying, but yeah, that's the effect that they use. So that is it for my editing, and I will definitely be doing a more in-depth of those apps. Then I just have Messages, YouTube, aka My Life, Mail. I have one called Faves with the peace sign. Um, and on here I just have Instagram. Mine is at the Beauty Group for You. This is what mine looks like. Loving my bio. That's a phone our stars for you. So yeah, this is what my Instagram looks like. If you guys want to follow me, make sure to do that. Um, I love replying to you guys. I try to reply to as many comments as I can if they're like questions or just really sweet things that you guys say. Um, but yeah, that's what my Instagram looks like. And this is my favorite app of all time. I'm seriously obsessed. Okay, then I have Twitter and mine is at the Beauty Guru for you again. Here's my Twitter. I have been tweeting a lot lately. So yeah, make sure to check that out if you guys have a Twitter and want to follow me. Self-promotion, no shame. Then I have the app called Snapchat, which you guys know what this is. You just take a picture and then you can do different effects or whatever and then just send it to people that you know. So, yeah. For Snapchat, I do have a personal one, but I also have one to Snapchat you guys, which I don't go on as much, um, but it's just the beauty group for you if you guys are interested. And then I have Vine, which is just funny videos. Um, I'm obsessed with Vine. If I'm ever feeling sad or I just need a good laugh, go on Vine. Like, I'll show you guys some of my favorites. I'm, I'm not even sure my username is, so don't ask, because I really don't know. <laughs> Tragic. Okay, um, yes. Like, vines are the story of my life, so I love that. And then I just have Safari, which is the internet. Well, that is everything that is on my iPod. Now I'm just going to get to my case collection. This is a case that I showed you guys at the beginning. It just says sunshine, lemonade, summertime. And I am obsessed with it for the summer. Then the next one that I have just looks like this. It's like a southwestern kind of tribal print. I think it's really, really pretty. All of these that I'm about to show you, the first six, are from a brand called Headcase. And I got them off eBay. And they're not like super protective because they don't like cover the front. And they're just like clear on the sides. I thought the pattern would go all the way around, but... I like them and I think they give a really cute like look to your phone. I mean iPod. Struggle. Next one's also from Headcase and this is just a really pretty pink floral with 
um, a cream, another pink, and then a blue flowers. And I think this is so, so pretty. This one I have is also floral, and this one is just blue with pink flowers. And I think this is so vintage looking. And I'm obsessed with like the vintage floral look. And again, this has the clear sides. The next one is just a mint green with lace and pearls, but don't be fooled. It's like there's not really lace and pearls. I was kind of disappointed, but it was like five bucks. So yeah, again, clear on the sides. I think this is cute. Um, I think it would look better with just like a silver iPod. I don't really like it with the pink, but oh well. The next one that I have, I'm in love with. It just says Beach Bum, and it just has like a pink overall look, and then it has different color chevrons, and it says a Beach Bum. I've already worn it a lot. I love it so much. That was my last one from Headcase, and then I have this one. This is from the brand Agent 18. It was my mom's, um, but she gave it to me. I don't know where it's from, sorry about that. It's just like a really like rubbery, like mint green kind of blue, and then it just has a white flower. This is definitely like the most protective of all mine, um, and I think it's really cute. Then my very last case looks like this, and it's just kind of like my other one, like clear on the side, um, but my mom got this also, I'm not sure where. Um, but it's by the brand The Macbeth Collection, which makes you think of Mac Rabio 7. Just like this giraffe print, and I think it's really cute. I'll make sure to have all of these cases from eBay linked in the description, because I'm sure a lot of you guys would want to know exactly where to get these, so I'll have those linked down below.